Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Mark, chapter 6, verses 34 to 44. When Jesus saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. By now it was already late, and his disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already very late. Dismiss them so that they can go to the surrounding farms and villages, and buy themselves something to eat. He said to them in reply, Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Are we to buy two hundred days' wages worth of food, and give it to them to eat? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five loaves and two fish. So he gave orders to them to have them sit down in groups on the green grass. The people took their places in rows by hundreds and by fifties. Then, taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave it to the disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up twelve wicker baskets full of fragments, and what was left of the fish. Those who ate of the loaves were five thousand men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Newman. He was born in Bohemia in 1811 and had a calling to the priesthood from a young age. However, there was an overabundance of clerics in Europe during that time, and St. John Newman eventually found that the bishop in New York needed support, so he made his way there and was ordained at the age of 25. He did missionary work in New York until he joined the Redemptorist at the age of 29 to help the poor and marginalized. From there, he later founded the first Catholic school system that is still in place today. And just as how Christ drew from the resources of the crowd and multiplied their offerings to have it all full and satisfied, St. John Newman's talents of organization were used and proliferated in order to serve the people of God through knowledge and education. So through the intercession of St. John Newman, let us never lose the thirst for knowledge and education that we may grow in wisdom and faith in order to serve God and His people. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and fulfilling day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.